booths and draping, tables, chairs, networking and swag. All signs of a trade show in progress. But this trade show is about celebrating community success. There's a lot of great stories happening in Amo, and we are incredibly horrible at sharing our news and sharing our successes and celebrating together and coming together as a community to be excited together and to plan together. And so it's important for groups like us to bring everybody together to say, let's celebrate what we have. Let's be excited about what Nanaimo is and what we're giving uh, to the community and what's going on here. So that's why we're coming together tonight. I really believe that it is up to the citizens to create the community they want. I think that most people always look to politicians, to look to city managers, city staff, to create the city they want. But I still believe that it's up to every individual to get involved and to go out and make a difference. And the organizers of this trade show called Showcasing Nanaimo Vision Rally 2020 are doing just that, creating the community they want to live in. It started five years ago in anticipation of a municipal election. So the intent of the last Vision Rally was to change the discussion around a municipal election to actually get our poli local politicians to talk about vision and our community and what our vision as a community was. It was specifically about that. It was hugely successful. I mean, council used the word vision as their, as their political platform after that. The city then became interested in looking at what a vision for Nanaimo could be, would be, ha hired consultants to help create that process with the community, and then out of that became another uh, adjunct to that with the Chamber of Commerce called Successful Cities. But there isn't a municipal election just around the corner this time, and the concept of successful cities has been generally embraced. And somebody said, I'm tired of looking at Facebook because all I see is negative conversation. And so out of that, our, our group said, well, then let's, why are we doing that? There are so many great stories inside this city, and to Donna's point, they're not being told. So really, we decided to tell a common story. And that common story is, and we've tagged it, actually NEDC tagged it, it's called the Nanaimo Advantage. And what is the advantage to living in Nanaimo? They're, the list is long. And many of the businesses and organizations, including arts and environment, that make that list are here today. Committee member Marianne Turley is interacting with each one of them. We're asking them to share with us what their successes have been and what they're planning and what their six upcoming successes will be, uh, the milestones that they are working on, and also for us to get a general feeling as to what is really happening in Nanaimo because we have so many well-kept secrets and those are, you know, we're, we're able to uncover those. Results from this event will be compiled and presented to mayor and council in the coming months. The results will also be posted on visionrally.ca. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Kate Bergen.